good morning. We're still here on the ranch. They're going to take us up to that cabin. I think we've shown a couple little shots of at this point. Uh, we haven't actually explored it much, so we're going to go up there, check out the um, check out their new cabin, and do a couple little projects um, around there. Um, I love going up the mountain. It is like 20 to 30 degrees cooler up there, and it is roasting down here. So we've really been enjoying the new faucet because you end up washing your hands a lot on a ranch. Or maybe I do. I just wash my hands too much. I don't know. So that's what we're doing today. Um, we're gonna just enjoy the ride up and go check out the views from up top. What do you think? I think it's really hot and it's gonna be nice and cool on the top of that mountain. Yep. This will do. So this was like an 18 mile drive from where I just was. Unbelievable up here. I can't even believe it. Looks like there's a storm coming up. So I'm gonna get the drone in out and get some of this over here. What do you think, Lily? Should we get the drone up? Yep. This right there is where we fished. Uh, we just, every single cast, we caught a fish, and a big fish. Not a little fish, a, a big fish. caught one on the like, cast out and caught one's fin. It's, it didn't even bite it. It's so crazy. <laughs> Seeing this cabin all by itself on the hill as you drive up is pretty amazing. Uh, so they just finished it like a couple months ago um, and it's completely off the grid. They have about 1200 watts of solar um, and about 1750 amp hours of batteries, which is a lot more than we have. We have about 220. Um, and it's crazy because over 100 years ago, more people lived in these mountains than they do now, which is, you know, the opposite direction most things go. We're gonna head down to one of the reservoirs below the cabin and build a temporary dam before they get some heavy equipment up here. We doing? Making a dam. We're damming up the. And what is this stuff here? That's the dam canvas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> doesn't take much. <sighs> We're easily entertained. What do you think? Cool. Is that the best dam you've ever seen? This dam canvas does a good job. Okay. We just made that cabins up there. We gotta go back up there and turn the fire off. Look at that storm coming in here. Holy cow. Well, we made it back down the mountain. Thankfully that storm missed us. Um, they were concerned at first just because we didn't know which direction that was gonna, it's super windy still. They weren't sure which direction that was gonna head in, um, and it had a lot of green in it. And we learned that if those storm clouds have green in it, that means there's a good chance there's big hail and tornadoes possible. You see green? Get undercover. Get undercover. <laughs> I've never heard someone say, oh my gosh, that's probably a tornado or hail, we've gotta go fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little nerve wracking. So it's still windy here where um, we took a little trip and we can overlook the property. I don't know if you see down there that barn, there's a tree in the way, but that's where our RV is. And this is just some of their, overlooking some of their property. It's stunning. It was just another like reminder that whatever situation we find ourselves in, there's always something new to learn. And it's something like we're trying to instill in our kids on this trip, but it's also something that like I need to remember for myself that there's always something that, that you can learn wherever you are. 
As we start wrapping up our time here, we're just super glad that we took the chance and that we stepped out of our comfort zone a little bit and, you know, decided to go somewhere where we had never been and meet people that we had never really met before. And more importantly, we're so glad they took the chance on us. Um, it just, again, reiterates, like, always have the conversation. You never know what someone's willing to give or to share unless you ask or unless you're willing to even start the conversation. So um, that's been a really good lesson, I think, for us and something we're going to take with us as we keep traveling. You guys got to see this ride down. It's just, I got to stop saying it just. <laughs> It is, it's just incredible. It's, it's incredible. It's beautiful, it's just wonderful, it's just ridiculous. It's just. It's just. I need to get some. Get away from us. Get away oh my god. Seriously like landing on everyone. Watch out. Is it just one? It's I don't know. I don't see any. Okay. Is it a, just a fly? No, no. It's like a hornet, like a bee. Got it. You got oh, it? No, no. no. Ah. I just made him really mad. No, it's alright. If it stings one of us, he'll die. Oh, it's on your head, it's on your head. I'll kill it. Where? Kill it. Kill it. Ow. Human sacrifice. You're amazing, Lil. Sorry, oh, I really job, hurt your heart. Is there another one? So for the past over a week, actually, we've been in Ten Sleep, Wyoming on this incredible, massive ranch that- I think you're gonna need to start over and change how whatever you're doing with your feet and legs right now, because that looks really weird. Okay. I don't know if that looked weird or not. But anyways, for the past week, maybe week and a half, we've been in Ten Sleep, Wyoming uh, on this gorgeous, massive ranch. They are a cattle ranch. They have uh, over 500 head of cattle. On the most amazing spread I've ever seen. Yeah, it's just- even like, it, it's like it should be in the movies. Yeah, so here's some, here's some footage of that, uh, this property. Woo! We've gotta be near something. I got it. Another perk of Kill being it. on a, dead. being on a, another <laughs> perk of being on a cattle ranch is, and basically an endless supply of meat. Corey was so excited to be smoking a different type of meat almost every single night we've been here. We and did, they were pretty excited for him to We did make steaks, <laughs> we did brisket, we did prime rib. Yep. Uh, we did chili. It's just been awesome to be here and, and then, uh, the girls have had a great time. Why don't you guys tell us about it? What happened with Lacey? Just had puppies. Seven oh, no. puppies. Seven we got, puppies. We got to name all of them. What are the <laughs> names? Do you remember the names? Yes. Oreo, Oreo, Caesar, Checkers, Spots, Spots. Okay. Layla, what are the other ones? Willa, Shelly, and Finn. Finn's my favorite. <laughs> He's the biggest He's one so ever. Big. He's a chunky And what's chunky the little puppy. dog that you guys have been hanging out with? Myrna. Myrna. <laughs> How many times have you guys given that thing Myrna a bath? Myrna is not Three a... Three times. <laughs> Myrna is not a border collie. She's more of a pet. The wildlife around here is is spectacular. They have elk yeah, and... It's, it becomes normal to just see deer running deer. next to you as you're driving down yeah, the road. Especially on the mountain. Deer and elk and, and uh, antelope. They've been so sweet to us and given us every opportunity to experience this to its fullest and yeah. we are so appreciative, um, so blessed by their generosity and we've been trying to help out as much as we can. We're not a... Those are, I'm getting covered in ants. Oh great. Right, we're well, come. we're experiencing all the yeah. Well, wildlife we decided here. to sit on a road mm -hmm. in the dirt. Yeah. Okay, so girls, what was your favorite part about being here on the ranch? The puppies, I think. The puppies were the really best. I really like the horseback riding, the food, the puppies, the people, Myrna, the Myrna. Pretty all much, of yeah. This. The, she nailed it. The people are the best thing it's about so it. So true. 
Every, so, everywhere we go, it, it never fails. That's, that's our experience. It's what we are enjoying the most. And every day we're like, are we leaving? When are we leaving? And there, yeah, we extended this day. <laughs> A lot. Like four or five days. It's like a stream of ants coming at me. I know. Uh, they've blessed us with this this time and meat and fellowship and and just views and experiences exactly. have just been unbelievable. And they say they want us back. I hope they mean it because we really want to come back. Yes. So that'll do it. Do some more work on the ranch, right? We're yeah. we're yes. heading towards the Tetons in the morning. Good morning. Uh, we have to make kind of a hasty retreat from here. Jess wasn't feeling good last night and she is not feeling good right now. She's in quite a bit of pain. I think she has a infection. Um, so we got to get going. Uh, she's on the phone right now trying to find a doctor, uh, but there's nobody close to here. So hopefully we get in. We said our goodbyes last night and uh, this place has just been unbelievable. We definitely want to come back here one day and hopefully they'll have us. We ended up staying like, I think this was supposed to be a two or three day stopover. We're on day nine. So they have been gracious and amazing and let's get to the doctors. No. Where is she? We will miss you. We left the ranch this morning and uh, Jess wasn't feeling good. I think uh, we think that she's got a urinary tract infection, bladder infection. So we're here in, I don't even know, something, Riverton. We're in Riverton, Wyoming at an urgent care. So we'll see how this goes. All right, well, we made it up here to the Tetons. We kind of had to rush out of there uh, and pack up super quick because Jess wasn't feeling that great. Yeah, and I, I woke still up isn't. And, yeah, I'm a little bit better. I just woke up in the middle of the night knowing that I was uh, dealing with a UTI, which is really bad for me. I just escalate very quickly with any type of infection and we were about two hours away from uh, an urgent care <laughs> this morning. So it was a really fun two hours in the RV, like stopping every 10 minutes so I could yeah, run into the it bathroom. It was literally every 10 minutes. It was a long you time. See, is that a pull out? Is that a pull out? <laughs> no, it's not, but pull over. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, um, we found an amazing doctor in Riverton. Uh, they gave me antibiotics as soon as I got there. And uh, we stopped at Walmart and got the prescription. So I am on the upswing. <laughs> Uh, but, but this was our first like medical issue on the road, so I'm glad that's over with and under our belts. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, how long have we been on the road? I, my brain's yeah. not working right now. Several so months. A okay. long time. <laughs> so we've been we've been good. Uh, but yes, this was our first uh, medical, I would say, emergency. If you saw the way she was, <laughs> um, but we're here. Uh, it's better than anything we thought it would be it's just it's iconic the tetons mm -hmm. just you round the corner coming over the pass and you see those tetons for miles and oh my gosh even though i was like really really sick when we <laughs> rounded that bend it was still like my jaw dropped it was unbelievable yeah so i have a time lapse going right now there's a full moon i want to do some milky way shots but we're not going to be able to do that but i am going to take some shots mm -hmm. and uh tomorrow we're gonna hit Mormon Row, which is another iconic photo opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's that barn. Um, I'm really. He's been looking forward to this for so long. Yeah, as a photographer, you kind of like drool over those shots. <laughs> we're gonna um, 
I'm do that in the morning. Take some more medicine and hopefully feel better tomorrow. All right, good morning. Good uh, morning. She's not gonna ruin any more of our days. <laughs> it was really a bummer to think about being super sick. Normally with infections like that, I get really, really sick. So anyways, we got here and this is like one of the things we've been looking forward to since we decided to travel. Yeah, we wanted to wake up. Well, see the sunset over the Tetons and wake up, so. Then it is like well, even more well spectacular than we thought it was going to be. Where are we going? We are headed to Yellowstone to a campground there, which is pretty cool since we haven't been in a campground since April and it's June 26th today. So yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've been in a campground. The forest road to get up to the boondocking site that we were talking about is all dirt and pretty rocky and rough. So just take it nice and slow. I don't know if you that. can tell that we're <laughs> bouncing around like bobbleheads. As long as nobody is coming on us. Yeah. There's some tight spots on the road where if another camper was coming. Tight spots? The whole thing well, is pretty tight. Yeah, I guess it is. There's a tight spot with a cliff that drops off on one side that's really bad. It's actually up there. Yeah, it's right up there. Yeah. So just take it nice and slow and you should be fine and hopefully no one oh, else yeah. is coming. <laughs> just creep down. Who cares if it takes you 10 minutes to drive a tenth of a mile. Yeah, no kidding. You didn't break anything. Exactly. One of Corey's favorite parts about being here and boondocking in this location was that we were in a national forest and not the national park. So he was able to drone and get photos and get film um, with the Mavic. A homestead that had, well, it used to be a community that had 33 homesteads on it at one point. And they all came together so that they could like share in community and like help each other. There's only six left that you can see right now. And then there's a church and a school. And then like the iconic Tetons barn is down on the other side of the road. So go check that out. We made it to Grant Village here in Yellowstone. Um, these sites are super tight. Uh, we had reservations, so we had an assigned site and we we're driving through the loop. And I'm like, we're not gonna fit in here. And for some reason, uh, the one site that was reserved for us was big enough, sort of big enough. The only one we ever would have squeaked into. Yeah, it was, it was super tight. Um, but we're here, we're in. Mm -hmm, we're we, good. And our, our stuff is on the pavement. We're not gonna get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> the girls made a fire uh, and we had burgers from the ranch which was it was it was bittersweet um, yeah they were so good though they're delicious <laughs> and, uh, there's nothing like fresh meat and I am finally feeling better but typical Nickerson style we blasted through an area um, mm -hmm. but it was either you know take time off of the ranch mm -hmm. and add to the Tetons or just check out the Tetons really quick because we can go back there yeah um, and we're not going to be able to go to back to Alaska. No, and we want to spend as much time there as possible. So we only did one night and it was beautiful and wonderful. If we don't get back there, we took advantage of our one night and we got to see it. And if we do get to go back, now we have the lay of the land. The next episode will be Yellowstone and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs>